Welcome to part 2. So in part 1 we made this character and if you haven't seen the part 1 then you can click here or you can click the link in the description below. It is highly recommended so make sure to watch part 1 as well. So we are done with our character and now let's see how we can animate it. So first I'm going to animate its pupil and for that I have to just simply select the details and let's parent it to the pupil so that they move along with it something like this. So now we can select this and let's go to the very beginning. Let's press P for position and I'm going to add a keyframe. Now it's completely up to you where you want your character to look, but I'm going to make it look to the right side. So let's go to somewhere around half second and I'm going to just simply move it to the right side. Just like that. After that, we can select this and let's move to a couple of frames ahead. Then we can move it to downside. Something like this. Now this is completely experimental and these are all your inputs. So let me just quickly move it to this side and over here we can make it come back to the center or we can make it look down and then we can make it go back to its original position. So let's copy the first keyframe and let's paste it. Now let's see what we have created. So I think this is looking fine. And we have to tweak this more by simply selecting the all keyframes and then you can press F9 to ease them. Then let's go to the graph editor and I'm going to select all the graph curves. And after that, let's change the curves to something like this. So there you can see we have created this really nice eye moving animation. If you want, you can also change the graph to look something like this. Let's move it over here. So this also looks nice but it's completely up to you and if you want your eye to stay at a particular position then you can just simply copy that keyframe and then paste it a little bit ahead so that it will stay there for a while something like this but this is completely up to you now we are done with our eye animation and it's time to move the whole eye so before we do that i have to just simply parent the pupil to the main eye which is this one so I'm going to just simply parent it to this layer and let's select this outline and I'm going to parent it to the eye as well. Now we can select this, press P and we are going to animate it. So let's add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around here. And at this point, I can move my eye to this side or we can move it to the other side, something like this. And let's go back over here. We can move it down and let's keep it over here so copy the keyframe and let's paste it so after that our eye goes to this side and we can move it to this side and if you are able to see this top eight region then we will fix that and then we can move it back to the center something like this and at the end let's copy the first keyframe and just paste it now again, we can select all the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. Do the same easing. So let's increase this. And after that, select the other endpoints and let's move them over here. So there you can see we have created our animation. And let me just quickly fix these glitches. So over here we can select our mask layer and let's press S and I'm going to just scale this up something like this and maybe it's too far so we can also adjust the eye as well just like that. So now you can see we have the eye animation and now let's animate the eyebrow so I'm going to select the eyebrow layer and let's go to the very beginning and in order to animate this we have to create a point so let's select the pen tool and let's click in the middle so that it will add a point after that hold down the alt key or option key if you are on mac and you can see that the cursor will change and you can click on it so now you can see we have these bezier handles now we can grab them and i'm going to just move it to somewhere in the middle of this and this vertex so let's quickly just move it something like this and let's do the same thing with this one as well perfect now we can animate this so let's select this and search for path since this is a line so let's add a keyframe and let's go to the 
somewhere around here now we can select the point and we can just simply move it down just like this now again if you are able to see this line then you can play around with the mask which is over here and we can just make it move down a couple of frames just like this and we have to also fix the top so let me just quickly increase this like that so now you can see we have our eye and let's just quickly animate it so i'm going to again select this and we can move it further and uh, let's stay it over here so copy this and paste it over here we can change this to something like that and let's go to the middle and we can again select this and let's move this all the way down we can also decrease these so that we have a sharper edge and let's go back to the beginning and let's copy this keyframe and let's paste it now again select the keyframes press f9 then just play around with the graph and we are going to do the same easing so let's try this one so i think this is also looking fine so we can use this as well now let's animate the mouth so in order to do that let's select the teeth and it's pretty simple let's select this and press p for position and i'm going to add a keyframe and make sure the anchor point is in the center so right now it's over here so in order to make it in the center you can hold on the control key and then just simply double click on the pan anchor tool and there you go now we can select this and let's select our eye press u to see the keyframes and now we can start animating this so let's select the teeth and let's move it to this side so just play around with its position and over here we can move it to this side somewhere around here and we can just simply copy the first keyframe and paste it now let's select keyframes and we are going to do the same easing so let's make this somewhat around here now if i go back and let me just quickly play it so there you go you can see that we have created our face animation and the last step is to animate these hairs so let me just quickly select these layers so these are over here and i can select both them search for path and i'm going to just simply parent this path which is this black layer to the path of our top layer so that we don't have to animate both so you can hold on the alt key and then just simply click on the stopwatch after that you can pick whip and just select the path one and let's do the same thing so hold on the alt key and just click over here and pick whip this so that you can select the path two now we can turn this off and let's add these paths and let's start animating so let's move to somewhere around here and now you can see that i can select any of these paths and we can start animating them so right now our character is looking to this side so we can move them to somewhere around here and let's move it to this side and let's play around with the bottom one something like this and let's move to somewhere around here so for this we can just make them come closer and we can just add a little bit of animation over here as well just make sure to reselect it otherwise it will create another point something like this so yeah i think this is looking fine now we can just move it to the other side so let's select the endpoints and let's move it now i'm going to select this endpoint and let's move it over here as well just do the same thing with these one and if you want we can also change the orientation to something like this and now we can move it to the middle something like this and let's go back to the original position and we can just copy the first keyframe and just copy this and paste it now we can select all the keyframes again press f and let's play around with the graph and i'm going to change it to look something like this So we can go back and let's see what we have created here you can see we have created this animation 
and if you want you can add more animations to this so if you want you can move the whole body let me just quickly create a null object and after that let's select all the layers except these and let's parent it to the null and over here let's select this eye and also parent it to the null now we can select these two layers these three layers and let's parent it to the null now we can select the null and let's press p for position and let's select this layer also press p just to see the keyframes and now we can start animating this as well so we can select this and let's move it somewhere around here so just keep on animating this just copy the first keyframe and paste it now let me just quickly select this and do the easing so there you go now you can see we have created our character just like that so in this way you can create any kind of animation all you have to do is just simply make the character and parent the correct parts and after that you can animate them individually so if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one